this is Mary at the Marriottier, and I am, <sighs> I'm home. I'm home from my birthday antiquing trip. Yeah, do you want to see what I got? These are envelopes. I'm getting ready to send out the ATC pocket letters. I made these the other day. Yeah, okay. So what did I get? <laughs> what did I get? Well, let's let's show you. I'm saving the best one, the one that I really like for last. I'm saving it for last. I'll put it up there. I did go ahead and buy these tins. Shall I zoom in a little? I think my camera is still. Yeah, my camera is still. Okay. There we go. I got, this is a tin. This one cost me $3.50, I think, celery flakes, but I like it because it's a tin. And I think there's still some celery flakes in here. Hmm, dried celery flakes. And this one is whole cloves, and this is a box. This only cost me a dollar. They smell good, though. And the man who, the man who checked me out, Let's see, I think I have to figure out where I am on this camera thing here. Where am I at? Let me move my camera because I should be right here. This is where I want to be. So let's fix my camera. So I am where I want to be. And I think I need to move it this way. Come on. It takes a little while for it to think about it. Those camera settings. Oops, wrong way. All right, this way, this way, and this way. Let's see what that did. There we go, one, two, three. All right, <laughs> there I am. <laughs> These are dried celery flakes, and it's just a tin, and it, I shake it, and it feels like it has some in it. But I like it because of the color, and it's got celery on it. It's got an elephant and a crown. Crown colony. One-fourth ounce. I have no idea of the date. This is chilling whole cloves, and I paid a dollar. There's, there's some cloves left in here. I haven't decided which one I'm going to use. I got a project. Yeah. All right. Yeah, another project, Mary. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So then I found these. I think I showed you these in one of my videos. I showed you the tins, too. These are dye ink pads. And I think, well, it says it's permanent waterproof, translucent ink, Ranger ink. I paid $2 a piece for these, and they're $5 ink pads. These I paid $2 for, and they're $6 ink pads. And I got the Hydrangea, which is kind of a light purple color, and the Forget-Me-Not, which is a pretty blue color. I thought I got a raspberry. I did. Raspberry sorbet and buttered popcorn. So I bought those, so there's $8, 9 10 11 $12, and yeah, I got these button cards. <laughs> I got this one button card. I think it cost me $3. How fun it is. I did a painting of a button card. I might have to do that again just for fun. I love all these little buttons. So yeah, birthday buttons. <laughs> I couldn't resist them. And the other thing that I got is I'm going to do postcards for my September theme. And I got some postcards. Now, they they said that uh, there's a bag of new ones for $5. So I know these are new. But for art journaling and for art, I'll buy the new ones. And they taped them shut pretty good. I don't know if I can get this tape. Can I pull it? Yes, I can. Can I pull it all off? 
Will it all pull up? Ooh, now it's tearing the bag. We'll just tear the bag. We'll take them out. We'll throw the bag, bag away. We don't need that anymore. So, yeah, they're new ones. But look, I got some Santa Clauses. I know they're all Christmas. Christmas cheer. They they look reproduction, like reproduction ones. Christmas wishes. Poinsettia. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. A happy Christmas coming your way. Yeah, these are, I knew they were Christmas when I got them, and I knew that they were new. But still, look at this. How far you little can you little candle throws his beams? How far yon little camera throws his beams? So to the heart a Christmas blessing gleams. Oh, I like that. And this is the wise man, it looks like. And here's a Christmas greeting with the little little shepherd boy and his lamb. This looks like an Easter one, but no, it's Christmas. And there's the manger scene. I knew these were new when I got them, so this does not surprise me. But I do like them. I'm going to use them. I don't know if I use all of them. Um, because they're all Christmas. But for $5, I mean, I could make me a little book. I could send some in Happy Mail. Uh, oh, look at that one. A Happy Christmas. Oh, I like this. This looks like an Irish Christmas. Christmas greetings. Yeah. I don't know how far down I am here. There we go. So. Yeah. Oops. They're a little, um, the ink is a little faded on them. So I just might use this in my art. I may save this, some of them for December. I could do these in my December daily too. A postcard December daily. And do one a day. I was thinking, <laughs> PCADs, postcard a day. But I could base my December daily. Of course, now my December daily is going to be a December art journal, just like all the other months. But I might just base it all off of these postcards. We'll see. Now, in September, I'm going to do postcards. And I may use one or two out of here. Uh, but these are all Christmas. So I might just use these in my December daily. I may send one a day. <laughs> I don't know if I could get to the post office every day. But that might be fun. Postcard a day. I'd have to get them all addressed. I might write one a day and send them all at once. Send them all. Oh, you want to send them before Christmas. Okay. So the big thing that I got is I've been watching Rosemary Morris. And she was showing, and I'll put a link to her video. I might have to zoom out now because this is pretty big. She was showing some of these albums that she got. And hers are, of course, much nicer than mine are, than, than mine is. Mine is, is pretty beat up here. I might have to, there we go. It's pretty beat up. Uh, but it was a good price. I, yeah, I'll tell you what I paid for it. I think, I think it is a good price for what it is. I paid $30 for it. Now, this is a celluloid album, and you can see the spine is, well, the spine's in pretty good shape. It's just a cloth spine. Uh, the clasp is gone. There's wear on it. There's some of the celluloid is breaking off here, but it's got photographs in it. And if you watched my video, you will have seen that photographs like this were going for 9 or $10 a piece at that one booth. The photographs are no longer a dollar piece. <laughs> uh, they raised their prices. And uh, it, look right here. If you go $9 for a photograph, there's $27 right there. So, and I got, it's beat up. But you know what? I like it beat up because 
I can use it with no guilt. I can art journal in this if I want. Look at that little boy, little boy and girl. Now, Rosemary showed hers, and I'm going to put a link to her video and encourage you to go watch her video because, yeah, she's got some nice ones. And I never fail looking at these and wondering about their story. And this one's all faded out. This one would be a good one to draw and maybe try to bring her out a little. Looks like a man and wife there. And when I, when I went to pay for this, the gentleman that helped me, that checked me out, said, Lefty usually doesn't have these kind of things in his booth. I'm real surprised. <laughs> I'm going, well, yay, Lefty, bring some more in. And uh, this is a little bit more recent photo. And here he's sitting at a chair. It looks like the same boy, though. He's got the same nose. Or either brothers or the same boy. The same boy growing up more over here. Can I pull this out? Uh, I want to see. I think I can. Can I pull it out here? Yeah. Alcana, Virginia. Oh, Alcana, Iowa. Alcuna, A L C O N A. Alcuna or Alcana, Iowa. Hudson and Shadle photographers. So these are Iowa folks. Oh, look at that little one. Look at that little one. That is what I like about photos. Look, this is a family a mother and a father. Two older sisters, a middle sister, and a young boy, and a, a little a little one who looks like a little girl. We'll put that back in there. So the question is, are you going to leave them in here or are you going to take them out? I think they should stay in, don't you? I think an album like this, and I see the straight nose on all of these. I think when you get an album like this, they belong in the album. They should stay. Probably 1890s, I'm thinking. But I may art journal on this album because it is fairly beat up. And I did get it for that purpose. It's getting, you can see it's getting some mold here, age and wear at the top. But I love the photographs. For the photograph, look at that one. Oh, I want to sketch her right away. Um, for the amount of photographs that are in here, this was well worth $30. Thank you, Lefty. <laughs> My birthday present. Lefty gave me a birthday present. This one, I'm not sure. Looks like there's a photo in there. Let's see. Yeah, let's see if I can get him out. Is that from Blow? No, there's another photo in there. He's hiding. Come out, come out, sir. He looks like a gentleman from the suit coat. We'll see. It is. It's a young boy. Somebody put you in wrong. Yeah. Let's hear it. See if I can get him back in his home here. There we go. There you go. Look at these. Wow. They're hats that they're wearing. Interesting hats. I know there's a name for them. Little girl over here. What a sweetie pie. She's probably in her, well, if this is 1890s, oh, she would be passed away by now. Oh, wow. See, I love these. The little fellow there. Oh. <laughs> so that's the end of it. Rosemary, this is all your fault. 
but this was a very, and I love the cover. I love the cover. This is what a really wonderful birthday. Um, and you all, you all contributed to my birthday. You did. I got some dye inks here. I'm going to keep those up here. So, yeah, I had a really nice birthday. I still have. I picked it up today. Mitzi sent me a happy mail. Uh, we didn't get our mail. We don't get our mail every day. So um, it was sitting there waiting. And on my trip up there, I stopped at the post office to see if there was a mail. And there was, of course. It needs to come this way. So thank you for all the birthday wishes. I had a really good day. I had a lot of fun just browsing around. I probably spent more than I should have, but what a bargain. What a bargain. Rosemary, that's all your fault, but thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this video, and thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next page.